for fun's sake. Eat well, have fun, not die. That's pretty fucking cool. Tradition is a little bit of wine. Generally it's champagne, but no. This wasn't that cheap. I christen ye big blue. Big blue. Oh, you have a name? Big blue. Yeah. Mine is the orange dragon. It's not orange. <laughs> This dragon, underneath all that stuff, oh, is orange. So it is kind of. Orange dragon. Mm. Not the best thing. <laughs> Already. Jeez. We didn't even leave, leave yet. Ladies and gentlemen, we are entering Desolation Sound. Right here. There's a sea lion right over there. I see it on the rock. On the bottom. We're off to a windy start here, folks. Blowing northwest, which is directly where we're trying to get to. 15 to 20 knots, which is about 30 kilometers an hour. So it's pretty breezy. We're gonna see how far we can get today. Should die down tomorrow for some smooth sailing. So we started this morning at 8 o'clock, we were on the water, and it's 8.23 at night, and uh, yeah, we, uh, we are at the Rendezvous Islands. So uh, it's been a big day, but uh, we did it, and uh, I think we both feel pretty good for our first day. Day one. Day one. How many more to go? At least, uh, at least 70, 69. <sighs> what a spot. Yeah. We're, uh, we're on time for our rendezvous. <laughs> Good night, folks. Years of daydreaming were finally becoming a reality. We were relieved and excited after all this time to begin our journey. But we wondered, have we done enough to prepare? Do we have what it takes for an expedition so big? Could we deal with each other day in and day out for months at a time? Or would the temptation to bury one another in the woods become all too much? Only time would tell. All we could do now was ease into expedition life and get ready for the first navigational hazard that would be upon us the following day. First morning coming out of camp. Starting to feel real now. Here at Surge Narrows, we're waiting for our window for slack tide. Slack is basically when the tide changes from going in or out to the other one. It goes still for a short period of time. So we use that changeover period to try and get through the rapids. It should be nice and calm. 
we can get to the other side. So we've got about an hour to hang out here. Pretty nice spot. Have ourselves some lunch. Manage to get some water and wait for the window. One twenty-eight. Almost one thirty. Perfectly timed for the window. One thirty till two. Go through surge narrows. Let's see what it looks like. We were right on time. There were no rapids, no whirlpools, nor standing waves. Admittedly, it doesn't make for the most exciting footage. However, we are pleased to have succeeded in our first challenge. We passed smoothly through Surge Narrows and Okasolo Rapids. Soon, we'd be leaving the Discovery Islands and making our way through the Johnstone Strait. Best spray on a finger, yeah. And 
ready, <laughs> just in case. <laughs> Random splashes all in a line. Or, oh, that's, that could be po uh, porpoises. That's kind of how they move when they go fast. They roost a tail. We are. Somewhere in here. And we're planning a pretty big afternoon all the way down here. Crossing over from Taiyi Point onto Vancouver Island, making our way to this campsite, which has already been marked. 23, 24, 25. So if that's two nautical miles, Ooh. two, four, six, eight, and a bit, eight nautical miles, double it, 16K, chop off the top, maybe about 14K. Not bad. Ready to go? It's go time. Luca's about to mate with this loon. <laughs> Thank you. So Alaska's that way? Okay. Have a good day now. Okay, we'll leave. Stop it. We got, okay, calm down. Current's behind us. Wind is behind us. Not even paddling, and the island is soon to be behind us. Woo! Flying! Pulling into good camp. How fast do you think we were going back there? About anywhere between 8.5 to 9.5. Quick. Kilometers an hour. We were going fast. Yeah, we were flying. Frosters were engaged. Will, who uh, he let us borrow his charts, wrote good camp at this exact point. So we're going to find out what his standards of a good camp are. It seems pretty good. We're expecting some rain tonight, so I hope it's got a roof. So we're on the other side of Kusum, Kusum Mountain, which is right beside Sayward. Oh, there's a road here. So yeah, there's trails that go throughout Kusum. Hello! And this is probably one of the uh, end of the trail. Some foam, foam mattress. Just little, little bunk beds. Let's check inside. Oh, umbrella.
Let's have a look in it the other one. It doesn't even smell that moldy, so. Let's try this one. Someone is building a little, little refuge. Hello? Oh my god. Oh, the viewers are going to see what's inside before us. Hello? Oh, it's probably a vehicle. How do you open it? So uh, probably a. Here you go. Lock down. This side. Wow. Wow. It's quite the spot. Let's try to see when's the last time. Here you go. Nope. How the fuck? There's like a deck chair in there. This would have, this would be sheltered. Yeah. You found, you got? Well, it's a, it's a strap, right? This is so clever. So this has been tied on the corner, which means when you pull open the door, it closes itself. <laughs> Holy crap. There's a stove. This is a great little place. I was joking when I hoped this place would have a roof, but it actually has a roof. <laughs> Blankets? <laughs> This is amazing. We've just finished setting up camp and found this. Not ideal. So decided we're gonna shoot a bear bang. This is a great way as well to figure if everything is working okay. There's a bit of rust, but I don't think that should be an issue. So I first put it on um, its safety, then took off the cap and just screw it on. And this will be very loud. I'm gonna shoot it in a direction closer to the ground, uh, not too high because you don't want a bear bang to go behind a bear and it rushed towards us so definitely so, not yeah so basically after that i just crank it and release fire in the hole it's gonna be loud That's very loud. That's sick. <laughs> well, it works. Scared the birds away, at least. We were nearing the end of our first week. We'd already seen whales, porpoises, seals, and eagles, as well as signs of bears. Nature was all around us. In just a few more days, we'd be leaving Vancouver Island and venturing into the unknown. This is 
is Kelsey Bay. Notorious windy rough section. And we've hit it just in time for some 20 knot winds. Right in our face coming northwest. Whew! Against the current. And that's what generates waves. But it's okay. Because it's nearly lunchtime. Finally, I can watch some YouTube. Catch up on all my Netflix series. What is this place? Al's room. It's a microwave. We can warm up our uh, tuna wraps for lunch. <laughs> what up? Big day today, deserves a big reward. Tequila! Oh, thank you. For you, my friend. Green one. Salud. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers to this uh, beautiful day. Need some bacon. Good morning. Today is May 24th. We are joined by whales, and today is my birthday. Can't believe this was three years ago. This time has flown by. So we've just brought into Orca Camp. For a few months during the summers of 2018 and 19, Nuka and I both worked here 
for a company called Wild Coast. We spent a lot of time guiding groups out of this wilderness base camp right here and a lot of time discussing this trip in particular. It's just uh, amazing to be here. Full circle. Where it began. From now on, it's all unknown. This is absolutely nuts. There's been a few upgrades since our time, and this is one of them. Ah! Definitely didn't have this when I was here. Wow, that is sick. We got a good window through that. We had a good window, none of them were breaking. The ones when we were approaching, there was a lot of breaking waves in there. I think we were quite lucky getting through. Yeah, basically we got like, we sneaked right in between. Cheers, man. Salty. Cheers. Telegraph Cove. We did it. We're, we're in Alaska. We made it. <laughs> Week quite. one. Good morning. Mm -hmm. Leaving at Water's Edge Adventures.
Thanks for the place to stay. Telegraph code. Here we are. Good place for a coffee. It is a good place for coffee. Still hot. Hands check. Chris, what did you just see? Just saw a pot of orca about 100 meters that way, just off the coast. There they are. Little calf. Holy shit, an orca right there. Just went right under my boat. Oh my God. Just went right under my boat. What the fuck? Oh my God, he just came and Oh my, my God, I saw you wobble. Oh my God, that was insane. <laughs> He oh my god, I saw the ripples! And tap my boat. Holy shit, you just got a you just got a shoulder tap from an orca. There he is! Fuck, he's massive. <laughs> oh my god. That was incredible. Did it touch your boat? It did. It touched my boat. With his... I, I swear to God, I, I mean... With his dorsal? Yeah. No, actually, he, he rubbed his belly. Oh, shit, went on the side. Whoa. Yeah, I saw you wobbling. I thought you were just wobbling, I, but it's flat. Seeing as his belly was white, I thought... Oh, my God. I thought that it was a piece of my kayak floating away. Ah, <laughs> oh, man. That was so surreal. I saw the ripples that was... after there was, there was like bubbling. Oh, my God. Fuck. <laughs> it's only been a week. That's... <laughs> that was the most incredible thing that's ever happened to me. 
I can't wait to see this footage because <laughs> I've been filming the whole time. <laughs> Oh no, from right there. Just went right under my boat.